Hey guys, so in today's video, we're gonna be starting a brand new golf PT SNC kind of schedule training thing. Anyway, I'm here with Hattie. She is the knowledgeable one. I am not the knowledgeable one. Um, and you're gonna talk us through everything we're gonna do so we can get a faster swing speed and hit yeah. the ball further and anything else? Getting you driving off the, off the tee a little bit further. There you go. 300 yards coming up. <laughs> <laughs> that would be the dream. So yeah, there you maybe go. you can tell us a little bit about what you do. Of course, so um, today we're going to go through looking at your covered speed so we can see where we're starting from. We can compare that to roughly where the tour players are as well so you can mm -hmm. get a good idea. And then we're going to do a bit of performance testing. So we'll go into things like your strength, your jumps, so how high, how much force you can produce off the floor. And then, uh, yeah, we can compare that all. And then get you to towards, go training. Yeah. And then we test. Right, bearing in mind, guys, I've not been to the gym for like, it looks like I go to the gym. I've not been to the gym for many, many years since really my ACL. Wrong leg. <laughs> <laughs> so I tore my ACL back in like 2016, mm -hmm. had the uh, surgery, did the physio, and then I was like, that's me done. <laughs> Didn't want to do it again. sport again. <laughs> Until and golf. here we are. And here we are. <laughs> so we're going to have a look through Hattie's setup, what she needs to get started. Um, and then, yeah, we'll go from there. This is Hattie's station for today. We're actually at the tailor-made offices um, in their simulator room. Got like a putting area. The sim is right behind you, what we were just filming a minute ago. And this is your desk. Indeed. Yeah. Yep. What so, is this for? So we're going we're gonna to do a couple of angles for your swing, just so when I go away and analyse it, I can take a look. Some things you see in your swing might correlate to how you're moving in the gym. Okay. So then we can see actually a couple of the tests we're doing for mobility or strength. We can just tie those up and see if Okay, sort of cool. So, so this session is more about like control, seeing where I'm at. Yeah, exactly. Getting then, your start point for you. The next session would be? So we'll come back then. I'll go and look at all of your stats. I'll look at how you're moving. And then we can come back and go, okay, these are the areas maybe we can focus a little bit more on when it comes to your training. Okay. And how that correlates through to your golf. All right, so you have a little spreadsheet. I do, your thing yes. That we're going to be looking at today. Can we just to take a little appreciation for these Reese's mini pieces. <laughs> really, really in line with the gym session. Okay, what have we got here? Uh, okay, so we're in the simulator at the moment. So we're gonna take Mia through a warm-up. Now, most people, when it comes to warm-ups for golf, will just do a couple of swings and be like, yeah, I'm ready to go. Um, but I'm gonna take you through a bit more of a getting those muscles activated, mobilizing your spine, your hips, things like that as well. So you're all ready to go for golf and hopefully we'll hit the ball a bit further. Lovely, so here we've got simulator. This is our schedule today, 9.30 to 10.30, warm up, jump testing, club head speed. Then 11.30 to 12.30, that's when we go to the gym, do some mobility screening, ground force production testing and find starting moving patterns. Yeah. So what's in the warm up? Okay, so we're gonna warm up your glute and legs first of all. So if you grab yourself a five iron, Lucky I've got one of those. Okay, so what we're gonna do, I'll show you a demonstration first, um, and then I will let you. Okay. Some of that. Okay. okay, so we're gonna try and work at all different angles just to warm up in all directions. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna have five iron out in front of you. So I wanna think about pushing it away from you, keep that core nice and tight. We're gonna, gonna step yourself back. We're gonna step yourself out to the side, and then we're gonna step yourself forward. Okay, so we're gonna go all three okay. directions. It's like dancing. How's your coordination? Uh, see, this will test the coordination. I can I can't see even how good remember. it is now. Should I do it this way? <laughs> yeah. Okay. So, so. Well, we'll go forward first then. Okay. So lunge forward, reach those hands out in front of you. Easy. That's it. Good. And then out to the side. Move that ball out the way. Like this. <laughs> is that right? Yeah, that's it. And then step yourself back. Like that? So oh, oh. Back. <laughs> she already got it wrong. Isn't <laughs> that's even it? all right. With this leg. Yeah, that's it. Good, okay, we're gonna do another rep on that same side. So step forward again. Good, and then step out to the side. And backwards. Good, okay, for this next rep, before we go on to it, if we can reach those arms out so that they're nice and straight. And that's it, we wanna keep this core on nice and tight, so nice and tall. And we're gonna do the same for two more reps. Of so the step same leg. Forward, same leg. That's it, good. And out to the side. Just take some getting used to. <laughs> I now understand um, what is happening. Backwards, yeah. We're Do you feel it. things start to get a little bit warmer now? <laughs> well, I've now realised we're only using that leg, hence why I didn't yeah. need to do that bit at the start. <laughs> okay, we're going to do one more rep on that side. Okay. okay, now we're going to try and repeat the same on the other side. We've got it. How are those legs feeling so far? I've not done exercise in <laughs> such <laughs> a long time. Getting a bit toasty. <laughs> so if people are less mobile, 
Do yep, they just so have just to do smaller? just go to the range that you feel like you, you can manage on these ones. So this next one we're doing to do a squat. We are going to go overhead, but I'm going to get you to do a normal squat first, just so I can see how you're moving. Okay, so we're going to do the same thing with the five iron again this time. Reaching out, out in front of you to start with. Feet, whatever feels natural for a stance. Okay, imagine yeah. you've kind of jumped and wherever you land naturally, that's probably where you want to go. Okay, and then from there, trying to keep that chest nice and, up, nice and upright, we're just going to bend your knees and bring yourself back. I'm quite flexible. Yeah, we'll always see. I like to sit <laughs> like this all the time. Do you? Okay, mm -hmm. so try and control down rather yeah. than just dropping down. Okay. Control it just to the point you feel like you could hold it. And for you, I'm going to get you to hold it. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> Shouldn't have said anything. There we go. <laughs> so nice and slowly down, reaching those arms towards me. And I'm going to hold it there. That's so good. How's that feeling? It's actually okay. Yeah, good. Just keep How going. long are you going to make me do this? Oh, I'm not going to do anymore. <laughs> While you're sitting in that position, I almost want you to feel like you're trying to stretch your feet apart as well. So you'll find that will start to warm those Stretch hips. my feet apart, meaning? Yeah. Almost feel like you're trying to move your feet like this without okay. moving them. That's it, good. Keep reaching out front of you. Okay, she doesn't like it anymore. <laughs> she doesn't <laughs> like squatting. <laughs> good. Whoa, nice. That is done. Yeah. <laughs> we're going to stay with the squats. Yeah. But we're going to add the upper body in a little bit okay. more. Okay. So this time you're going to reach your arms up above your head. This is just the warm up. Yeah. Jesus. <laughs> so bear in mind, some people might not be as fit, some people might be fitter. So when it comes to the warm up, we want to feel like you're kind of just getting a little bit warm. So if at any point you feel like actually it feels a bit more of a workout than it yeah. is a, uh, a warm up, then do let me know. Um, <laughs> it's all a workout. <laughs> <laughs> so we're going to reach the hands up in front, in, front of, um, in front of you. That is not in front of you, that's above your head. Above your head. And then we're going to do exactly the same. And this time I just want you to lower down to the point you can keep your hands above your head. Okay? And back up. Nice. And relax there. Good. There we go. Those legs should be a little bit warmer now. They're very warm. <laughs> having your hands above your head on those ones? Uh, fine. Yeah, not too bad. Yeah, not too bad. <laughs> Good. So the difference with this one, for anyone just to send to let them know why I'm doing that one as opposed to just the one in front of you, is for me, it's good to see how your shoulder mobility is and how it coordinates with the rest of your body. Okay, so we've done the legs. We've done a little bit of the upper body. Now we're gonna go back to the upper body and we're just gonna focus on that for this next one. So with the club, now this one, depending on how much shoulder mobility you've got, looks like you've got, you've got enough to be able to do this next one, but some people might find going behind your head a little bit too restrictive. So you can go in front, but I think you can get behind yeah. you. Get behind <laughs> okay, so this one, just stay nice and tall and we're just gonna reach it above your head, bring it behind your neck. Okay. Okay, and we're gonna do five of those. It's quite good because Everyone's got a club at home, really, exactly, or yeah. a broom. So, so this, is, this is something you <laughs> could do before you go out to train. Doesn't mean you need to do all of them. You might find you're slightly tighter in a certain area and you know you just need to warm that up. Glutes are probably a key for most yeah. people to warm those up before you go out, especially if you want to hit the ball further. This feels nice. Yeah, it's a nice little stretch across yeah. chest. <laughs> I've not stretched in a long time. That feels good. There you go. <laughs> For like, you know, when it crunches every time. You're, you're like, like, oh, <laughs> a little sticky. <laughs> Let's do one more. So the good thing about that one, it will just open that chest up for you as well. So you can start using all those muscles in your chest, which when you're trying to push through and mm -hmm. push back, you're going to start working. Final one that we are going to do is your, is your T-spine. So basically your back. Now, I know when we spoke a while ago, you said you're quite bendy when it, came, when it comes to your back. I'm so it would be good just to see how this feels for you. You might find this is actually doesn't feel too bad and you might not need to do this every time or you might not need to do as many reps on this one. Okay, so this one, we are going to come behind your back again. Now, we're going to bring yourself into a half kneeling position. So one foot forward, one foot back. Okay, doesn't matter which side you start with, we're going to do both sides. Okay, and from there, nice and tall through the body. You're just going to rotate towards that front leg. Oh, okay. And bring yourself back. Okay. So rotate as much as, as much as you can. Don't force it at this stage. We're just trying to warm everything up. Once you've done five on that side, we're going to come over to the other side, and we'll do five on the other side. Right into this position. That's the one. This is going. Well, this so. is prickly, hey? <laughs> is it a little bit sticky on your knee? Uh, okay, so we're going to go behind oh, your neck. Yeah. That's it. Good. Nice and tall. Good. Just trying to keep it moving back and forth. Good. How does this feel? Nice. 
Not as crunchy as the shoulders. No, I feel like I've not stretched though. Like I can really feel the stretch down there, but I don't think I've ever stretched it before no. in my life. <laughs> I feel like everyone could benefit from stretching more, but no one does. Everyone's like, I should I, stretch more. Yeah, they're like, oh, I'll do it tomorrow. Yeah. <laughs> okay, same so on this side then, so rotate towards me. That's it, good. And relax there. Whew. Nice. And the good thing about doing those after you've done your lunges mm. is the fact you'll be able to hold that position a lot better because those glutes are going to be on and you're going to stabilise those hips. Got so it. That all is quite good in terms of you activate the muscles first, then you can mobilise things because things will move a little bit smoother. Perfect. That is the warm up done. But okay, it's before not. Before <laughs> we go, we've, we've, that's the warm up in terms of getting the body ready. Now, in terms of power activation, we're going to go through a few jumps and we're going to get you trying to swing a little bit quicker. Okay. So we're going to go through. And we'll test, we'll test these as well as we go through. So we're going to do a counter movement jump. So this is basically hands on your hips, jumping as high as you can. And then we're going to do one, that hold that we just did. Yeah. Not as long, don't worry. So only going to do a couple of seconds. And then again, jump as high as you can. Okay, cool. So we're going to do those next. And then we can go into your driver and we'll see how quickly you can try to swing that as well. Okay. So these are the Vold Force plates that I'm using here. So these will test various metrics. Um, for uh, particularly for golf, we're looking at force production because there's a lot of correlations and studies between club head speed and uh, force production. So we're going to see from an explosive point of view how much force you can produce, and then later in the gym we're going to do it more from a strength perspective. We're going to stand you on them. Now I want hands on your hips, so don't try and use them to bring you up. I want to see how much those legs can produce. So hands on your hips, you're going to bring yourself down as quickly as you can and then jump up as high as you can. So it should look like this. Okay. Okay. Happy with that? Is there a number or a thing I should be aiming for? Is it just... No, we're going to just see where you're starting <laughs> from. <laughs> so I like challenges and goals. And competitive. <laughs> exactly. So if you step yourself on, stand nice and still. Do you know how much you weigh? Oh no, no. Six, <laughs> 60 something. No, nowhere near it. Huh? <laughs> nowhere near that. <laughs> what, how much I weigh? Yeah. 62. 63. You're a little bit louder now. How okay. 61? It's a guessing game, I'll tell you later. <laughs> I've lost some weight. <laughs> there you go. Okay, so keep your hands on your hips as quickly as you can, down and jump as high as you can. I was going to miss these then. I got a bit <laughs> nervous. Good, you're going to do one more of those then. And high as you go. Okay, now what we're going to do is we're going to lower down. I want you to hold for three seconds at the bottom and then you're going to jump as high as you can. Okay. Okay, when you're ready then. So lower down, hold, one, two, three, and jump. Oh! <laughs> I nearly jumped off the back. <laughs> That's all right. Okay, same again then. Lower yourself down. Hold for one, two, three. High as you can. Good. Okay, so the difference between the two, the first one where we didn't do a hold, we're trying to test explosiveness, so we haven't got any pause at the bottom. So that's our counter movement jump we're looking at here. We did three reps just to get an average. So we can then look at rep one, rep two, and rep three. So this gives us an indication of how high you're jumping, how much force you're producing, and it also, there's some other stats which I can look into in terms of whether you bias one side or the other as well. Do I? Or are you going to tell me that on a different day? Oh, <laughs> she keeps the followers coming. That's, that's what the analysis is coming for. The cliffhanger, <laughs> exactly. I get it. <laughs> um, and the squat jump, we're just looking at the concentric power that you've got. So cool. the explosiveness up. All right, you'll have to watch the next video if you oh, want to see yes. what happens there. Check that one out. <laughs> what is up next? My okay. legs kill. So, <laughs> legs are warm. We've done our jumps as well to create a bit more power in those legs. Now we're going to see, how often do you try and swing as hard as you can? On the range a lot, on the course probably not as much as I should. Yeah. Can, would you say you try and swing 100% on the, on the range? Sometimes. Yeah? Okay. Sometimes not, but sometimes well, when we I try. Well, we will see, shall we now? <laughs> okay, so if you grab your driver. Now for this warm up, we aren't going to do it with the ball. That will come later when it comes to the testing. So, I've are. got no legs left, Hattie, I'm not going to lie. <laughs> I'm like jelly. <laughs> so that's given us a good gauge that maybe that warm-up was a little bit too hard in terms of next time you do your warm-up, it might be a few less reps. It's the jumps. Oh yeah, was that what did it? <laughs> <laughs> it 
<laughs> you like jumping up and then, no? No. <laughs> what I want you to do, you can have a couple of swings with that driver just to get that, get that yourself loosened off. Good. And you drive that? All right. <laughs> She's knackered. <laughs> Feeling nice and loose. Good. Okay. Now, I'm going to ask you to do three swings. Now, you get a little bit rest between each one, but as hard as you possibly can. Okay. Okay. Go on, hard you go. Nice. Hard go. Nice. Good. Yes. Hard to go really hard and try and stay stable. Yeah. Because you do feel like you're going to throw yourself. <laughs> yeah, so oh. we, can, we can have a little look at that. <laughs> okay. Okay. Feeling good? Feeling ready? Never felt better. <laughs> Shall we use some balls then? Let's do it. Let's do it. <laughs> Need a little tea here. So for these ones, are just, we're just hitting these just to warm yourself up in terms of... Okay, so not as hard as possible. No, so these ones are, we just, we're just going to get used to just hitting that driver, okay? There we go, little cut again. Massive cut, Mia, stop it, silly girl. Nice. That's low. It's going to be a roller. Good. Do you drive a fin good? Uh, I mean, it could be better, but... It's going in the air. Yeah. Okay, so what we're going to do now yep. for club head speed. All right, we now have stickers on here. So basically for the Foresight technology, um, if you put these stickers on, you can then get your club head speed and all the other stats, because at the moment we only have four speed. For the first three, I want to imagine you're playing a par five. So like mm -hmm. a long par five. So you want to try and hit it as far as you can, mm -hmm. but you want some accuracy there. I'll be happy with that on a par five. Yeah? Yeah. Two, three, five, I'll take it. Give yourself a minute. Not unhappy. Give yourself a minute. I'm like, yeah. I'm ready, I'm ready. <laughs> <laughs> she loves it. 94 club speed. Nice. Brilliant work. Some say See? tour speed. Well, there you go. Nice, this straight on the line. Par five is going really well. <laughs> Maybe I should play par fives more often. Maybe. Do we feel like we could hit those any harder? Yeah. Yeah? Now this, this one, again, still with the accuracy, but let's see if we can get this hitting as hard as you can. I mean, I'm really happy those three shots would all be perfect for yeah. part five. Okay, so we've done the accuracy ones. Mm -hmm. Now we, what we want to aim for is maximal effort. Don't worry about where it goes. Okay. Okay. Whoa, that actually went really in a good shape. But when went you don't, high you don't think about where you're hitting it. <laughs> that went high. Wow, that was actually quite good. Someone needs to start hitting a Whoa. public camera often. I've never hit that far in my life. Hey, there you go. I'm going to take a photo of that. That is good. Well, I'm going to be taking one anyway. <laughs> oh, I wish I filmed that drive. That would have been... Oh, where did it go? Over that side. 268 yards, are you kidding me? It's that warm-up, you see. Whoa, I hit that so hard, I literally just took the top of the tee off. Like, did you? <laughs> just the top. If we can hit it's even harder. That was, oh, if that wasn't cutty, that would have been A1. I mean, still a good drive. So, you've got all your stats. Yep, so we've got your uh, camper movement jump, we've got your squat jump, we've got your club head speed, yep. along with various metrics that go with your club head speed. So, now we're gonna head to the gym. Okay. And see how you mean. The gym. All right, yeah. let's go to the gym. <laughs> we are in the gym. This lovely gym, we're at Caversham. Are we at Caversham? Yeah, the Caversham. We're at the Caversham. Recently redone, because I just walked through and I was like, damn, this looks so like clean and tidy and neat and fresh. We're going to be doing, what are we doing first, Hattie? So we're going to do a bit of strength testing with the force plates this time. So last time we did the explosiveness with the jumps. Now we're going to do basically pulling into a rack to see much, how much force you can okay. produce. Okay, so we're going to do the same as we did for the jump. So I'm going to get you to step off and then we will just do a um, 
a reway. So what am I doing? Bending? So this one, I'll show you first. We're gonna grab the bar, and it should be about mid-thigh. Okay. okay. Obviously, it's a little bit higher than me because I'm a little bit taller. A little bit smaller. A little bit taller. <laughs> a little bit taller. I'm definitely not taller than you. <laughs> okay. So the most important thing with this one mm -hmm. is once it's against the pins, don't let it drop down. Okay. Okay. So I'm holding it there. So you're holding it here, and when I say go, you're basically going to pull as hard as you can. Oh, okay. 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 Are we ready? Mm -hmm. So make sure it's against these. Don't let it drop off. So pull a little bit to start with. Okay. Mm -hmm. And off we go, I'm gonna pull as hard as you can. Go on, 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five. Go on, in there, four, three, two, one. That is the weirdest <laughs> sensation ever. <laughs> like, that is so weird. Yeah, how did that feel? The weirdest sensation, like you're pulling on something that is just... It's not moving. <laughs> that is really weird, that's really weird, guys. So the good thing about this test is because golf is all year round, pretty much, um, you don't want to be doing max testing in terms of seeing how much weight you can lift. Whereas with this one, it doesn't take too much out of you, so you can go back on the course. Okay. So um, it's a good way to test your strength without lifting loads and loads of weight. Cool. So that's a nice one. Okay, I'm going to give you a couple of minutes just to... Refresh. Refresh, yeah. <laughs> and we're going to do that one more time. A few moments later. Go on, go on, keep going. How did you go? Go on, go on. Three, two, one. Ah, relax there. That is still the world's weirdest <laughs> sensation. I can't get over it. Really odd. <laughs> yeah, a lot oh. of people say that. <laughs> do they, do this, they do say that. Yeah. Okay, we're going to do next, we're going to do a squat version. So this one takes your grip out of the equation completely. Okay. Okay. So we'll reset this up. We're going to bring it higher. Okay. And then we're going to do the thing. Okay. okay. Exactly the same concept, but this time we're going to have the bar on our back. <laughs> She's a weak, weak woman. <laughs> okay. So I'll guide you in. Just Is this right? Yeah, that's it. So step yourself in. Do you mind bend your knees just a little bit? Well, this is weird. Well, my legs are burning already. Don't let it drop. Ah, let's push. Go on. How did you get? I feel like it's push. on my shoulders. Yeah, it should be on your shoulders. <laughs> You're going. Push, push, push. Three, two, one. Oh, Good. not a fan. No? No. <laughs> That's not a bit of me. How did that feel? Uncomfortable. <laughs> on, your, on your shoulders? Yeah, I don't like things on there. Five, four, three, two, one. Oh. <laughs> no. It's nice and hard. Thank there you. There you go. We can, see, we can see how strong you are now. So that is the force plate testing done. We've got all the stats for that. So we can have a look at those later on. Perfect. Um, now we're going to go through your mobility. So I know you said you're quite Stretching. bendy. Yeah. <laughs> Difference between flexibility and mobility. Um, but what we're going to do is just see how your hips are moving, how your shoulders are moving, how your spine is moving. Um, so I'm going to go through everything with you today, okay. as I would, um, but some people don't need it all. Some people need just a few tests. Um, if, you look at, if you look at their golf swing a little bit more, then sometimes they might just need a couple of tests just to see, okay, is that their limitation? Yeah. Um, and it could be, it could be a hit in the golf swing. That's okay, really. cool. We'll go through those. So we're going to have a look at your hip mobility first. So if you lie yourself on your back with your legs completely straight. Okay, and what I'm going to ask you to do, nice and simple. This is my favourite position. Well, lying on the floor. <laughs> yeah, I'm back down there as well. It's about nap time yet. <laughs> so I'm going to get you very slowly to lift one leg off the floor, keeping it straight, high as you can, and then back down again. Good. We're going to go two more on that leg. Nice and flexible, aren't you? Oh, I was going to say it's quite tight, isn't it? <laughs> one more. Good. I'm going to, need to try one more on that leg. Try flexing your toe towards your shin. That's it. Good. Okay. So you say it felt a little bit tight on that hamstring? Yeah, down the back of the leg. Probably don't stretch. <laughs> <laughs> Feel anything anywhere else? Just, just do the back of the leg. Yeah. Cool. Perfect. Other side then. Good. Nice. Last one. We're going to try and keep this leg down. Excuse the cold hands. Yes. Okay, I'm going to do the same things I said last time. Toe towards shin, nice and slowly. I'm going to hold at the top. Good. And slowly back down. 
Perfect. How did that compare to the other side? Okay, now we're going to have a little look at your rotation of your hips. So I'm going to have a little, a little go with you. That sounds really wrong. <laughs> <laughs> have a little go. <laughs> okay, so we're going to keep this leg straight. We're going to bend this knee up towards your chest. Yes. There we go. Okay, so I'm just going to bring your knee up. So you try and stay as relaxed as you can. I'm just going to see how much movement you've got. Let me know if you feel any pinching, any pain, or anything like that. It's quite nice. Yeah. <laughs> Relaxing. This way always feels a bit weirder. Hmm? That way always feels, inside one, everyone always thinks it feels a little bit strange. Yeah, I guess you don't really use your leg in that direction as much. But golf swing you should. Do you ever get any issues with your hips? Nope. Yeah, very Perfect hips. Yeah, okay. I honestly can't feel anything right now. It, is it just, yeah, very bendy. Do you feel any different on that side that's got the ears on? No, about the same. Yeah. Cool, perfect. Okay, you get you stand up to your feet for this next one. Okay, alrighty. Okay, so next one. Nice and simple, we're going to be touching your toes. Cool. Doesn't mean drop straight down. Okay. <laughs> so what I want you to do is literally curl yourself mm -hmm. all the way down. Don't worry about keeping anything straight. You're just going to touch your toes and then slowly curl yourself back up again. I'm one of those people who can put their hands like on the floor. Yeah. <laughs> Oops. And slowly curl back up. Just ate the mic. Sorry about that, guys. <laughs> what was that? Just ate the mic. <laughs> oh, that's all right. Is it tasty? <laughs> Delicious. One more of those then. So I'm just going to take my hand off your knee. I want you to see if you can hold that in that position. How's that feel? Fantastic. Yeah, no, that's stretch. <laughs> <laughs> so just for reference, what I'm looking at on that one, so obviously we know your hamstrings, they float slightly tight. How do they compare on that one? Don't feel all okay. Yeah. yeah. So you've got a lot of mobility in the hips. For that one, I was just having a look at that lower spine, just to see if you had any rounding of it, because naturally it should have a slight curve. Um, so uh, that, was, that was what that test is designed to do. Okay. Have a look at your lumbar spine and just see how much mobility you've got there. Okay, Perfect. so next one, we're going to have a look how much rotation you've got of your spine. I'm thinking you probably have quite a lot, but we'll <laughs> test it anyway, just to see. <laughs> so what we're going to do is we're going to grab this roller. If it doesn't want to... It's a weird roller, this. It is a weird roller. It's got like a little... <laughs> it's like a mini roller in the roller. I'm not quite sure where we... But where we can use this bit. I don't okay. know. <laughs> okay, we've got now a mini roller because we went from the big one to the mini one. We did, so this one's probably suits you. <laughs> okay, so we're going to... Roller between the knees. The purpose of this one is to make sure it's keeping your hips still. We don't want any rotation to come through the hips. We want to all come through the torso. Okay, so you're going to squeeze your knees into this hand as you can. We're going to cross your hands across your chest, elbows reaching forward, and all I want you to do is just try and rotate to one side. We're going to do three rotations to your right, and then three rotations to your left. Okay. Okay. Your third one, I want you to hold it in position. Okay. Okay. What's the purpose of this? So the roller, yeah. so the roller, we want to squeeze those knees together and that should keep the hips still. Okay. okay, so we want all the rotation to come through here. When you're ready then. Not very flexible up here, am I? No, it's feel a bit stiff, does it? I don't know. <laughs> Let's do one more. I'm going to gonna hold this one. Don't even know what I'm doing half Okay, we're going to go deep breath in, sit nice and tall. And breathe out and try and rotate a bit more. Good. In terms of rotating from one side to the other, did either side feel tighter? Or do they feel about the same? The same. About the same. Oh my god. This has another layer oh. to it. <laughs> what is this thing, so like it? <laughs> triple. It's like one of those China a dolls. <laughs> I don't even know what that is at this point. Final mobility one then we're going to do is have a look at your shoulder mobility. So all we're going to do on this one I'm going to turn away from you. Don't turn away from me yet, otherwise okay. you won't see what I'm doing. So I'm going to go one hand. Yeah. We're going to reach it up and over the back behind your head. Yeah. I want you to try and touch the top of your shoulder blade on okay. that same side. We're then going to rotate all the way around and under and try and reach the opposite shoulder blade. We're going to do three of those on one side and then repeat on the other side. Okay. Okay. You know, I might be quite good at this one because I like to moisturise my body every single day. And that's how I have to do my back. <laughs> <laughs> so 
So just imagine you're putting your mo moisturizer on your back. <laughs> so I'm going to do it this way so you guys can see. Yeah, you want to see? No, but just come around that side. Yeah, you can stand on the side right and tell me. Okay. What am I doing? So right hand is going to go on top of your right, top of the right shoulder blade. That's it, good. And then we're going to slowly bring it like around, that. yep, and under. And try and reach the opposite shoulder blade. Good, and we're going to do that again. That's a nice stretch, that. Yeah, what, the one going under? All of it. Yeah. And under. So and this time when you go underneath, try not to force it too much. Go to where it can naturally go. That's it, good. Have a little think whether this feels kind of the same as the other side. Any tighter, any looser. Looser. Ooh, a lot more good than that side, haven't you? Yeah, yeah. And this side is like... Is that the one you do your back with? Yeah! <laughs> yeah, this one probably does all my whole back. <laughs> yeah, that one's way looser. Yeah. And that is the mobility done. For everything? For the mobility, yes. Oh. Now, right. <laughs> we're going to get stuck into more of the movements you're going to be doing in your own training. So I just want to find your starting point from a training perspective now. Okay. Um, so the how bottom. is your core, do you think? Average. When was the last time you did a plank? A long time ago. <laughs> okay. Worse than average then, poor. <laughs> okay. So... I am going to literally get you to do a plank on your forearms. Is it timed or like, not till I fall? We'll see how you get on. Oh God. Okay, what kind of plank so do you want? So you're going to do elbows. Like this? Yeah. That's the one. Oh, this is spiky. Right. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <Jump up. laughs> when, with the hips off the ground. When do, you, <laughs> <laughs> so when do you want me to start? Start already. We can. Yeah, start whenever you're ready. Okay. There's so much breathing in this mic. It's like... <laughs> <laughs> How does that feel for you? Horrible. Yeah? What do we feel the most in it? Uncomfortable. <laughs> <laughs> Body part? Uh, I don't know. My uh, elbows? Elbows? Yeah. <laughs> much in the tummy? A little bit. Yeah. And you can relax there for a moment. Was I good? <laughs> my shoulder. It's good. Okay, so I'm going to just get you to do a slightly different variation and I just want to see if it feels any different. So I'm going to get you to go on your hands and knees this time. That's it. Now the most important thing with this one is your hands stay underneath your shoulders. So at the moment they're a little bit out in front. Okay. Now as you lift your knees up, so in a minute I'm going to get you to lift your knees up, I don't want your, your shoulders to come away from my hand. Okay? Okay. But, oh, but like long? No, we're going to stay on the knees. Oh. Okay, so what I want you to do I want you to push into the floor hard as you can so you're pushing it back into my hand. There we go. Okay. Keep that weight forward. So I want you to hold that position. Don't let your tummy drop. And all I want you to do is lift your knees just off the ground. There we go. Okay. Keep those shoulders in line on my hand. Good. Are we breathing down there? Trying. <laughs> <laughs> and relax there. Good. More or less intense than the first one. More intense on my arms. Yeah. I have weak arms. <laughs> well, we we'll get, better get them stronger then, haven't we? <laughs> Good. But the difference between that first one and that one, the first one we just had those hips just dropping forwards slightly um, towards the ground, whereas that one you were able to hold that position through your pelvis, which means you're going to get into these muscles a, little, a lot better. What are we doing here? Okay, so you said your arms are weak. Yes. Shall we see what your upper body's like? Okay. <laughs> <laughs> when was the last time you did a push-up? Never. No. I can't remember. A long time ago. <laughs> okay. So what we're going to do is we're going to start with a hand elevated one, just to see one how you hold your body position, so basically your core strength, and two how strong that upper body. Okay. Just push your body way up. Okay. I so can do a push-up on the floor. Can you? Do you want to show me? God. <laughs> Maybe five. Uh. And um, relax it. That's pretty good. I'm proud of that. <laughs> and you said you were weak. I am weak. <laughs> <laughs> okay, right. so we're done now. No, we're gonna... <laughs> we don't even need that. It's fine. Um, do I not need to do this anymore? Because I went to the floor. Yeah. See? But see? I will get you to do one here for the reason that I just want to see how you how you control it when your elbow is tucked in a little bit. Now, the thing with push-ups, we don't want them to always be elbows winged out. We want to be tucking the elbows in a little bit to about 45 degrees. So, 
And you can, you can also use this to work the triceps if you want to be evil. <laughs> I'm not going to be evil today, don't worry. <laughs> okay, so what do I need to do? Hand straight out like this? Yeah, so the way I normally teach to set this up is to, if you step to the side a second, start with your hands roughly where these, these rough bits start. That tends to give you a, we can always adjust them if you need. You're going to bend your knees to bring your chest to the bar. Well, that's your start position, and then you're going to step your feet out. So then you know you're stepping out to the right distance. Okay. okay. And then from there, we're going to just push up. What Elbows. a great posture you have. Thank you very much. <laughs> <laughs> I got my elbows in. About 45 degrees. Easy. You need a little bit lower than that, don't we? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Again, bend your knees, get your down chest down. <laughs> Whoa! Whoa, oh, that's a little bit lower, isn't it? <laughs> okay. Oh, my and mic's got stuck. Are we right? You know, this is all magnetic out here. Oh! <laughs> <laughs> I literally was... Are you getting stuck on the bar? Got magnetised to the bar. <laughs> right, we're going, moving you there. Nice. Do you reckon you can do that position on the floor? On the floor? Yeah. Do you know why I'm getting a bit of pain is here? In your wrist? Yeah. Did you get them on the floor or just on the bar? Just on the bar. Okay. Are you gripping the bar? Yeah. Ah, okay. So, you see at the moment, there's quite a lot of flexion in yeah. those wrists. Try and have a little less. Oh, okay. and that'll help. Yeah, that helps. Yes. So, let's give, it, let's give it a go. See how that feels. Better. Wait, here? Here. Yeah, that feels better. Yeah. So, one thing to... So, you mentioned about your wrist there. Yeah. Actually, that's, that's good. That's good you mentioned that, actually, because what sometimes people find is the push-up position is a little bit sore on their wrists. Yeah. And that can indicate a little bit of wrist mobility, which maybe just needs a little bit more work. Or they just haven't been in that position for a little while. Yeah. So if you think about where you're putting the pressure through your wrist, that's quite a lot of pressure if you're not used to it. Yeah, and um, it's like right here. But yeah. then doing that. So that's is... why the hand elevated ones are quite good to start with, just to get your kind of hands into that position. So that then when you go down to the floor, you'll find those wrists will slowly like, naturally get Got into it. that position you need. So cool. but you can also do a lot more reps on here, so you can <laughs> get it to burn. <laughs> so, legs now to finish. Right, this is the last one. All right, the last exercise of the last day. Last but one, but yeah, almost there. Last but one, penultimate. <laughs> penultimate exercise. So we did squat jumps. Now we're just gonna do normal squats. Okay. So I just want you to do five normal squats and I'm just gonna take a look. Here? Yep. Yeah. Like wide whatever legs? Feels, whatever feels natural. Okay. Okay. And do you want me to stop at a certain level? Just go to where you feel like you can control it. Okay. okay, I can control it all the way to the floor and up. Okay, we'll control it all the way to the floor. Is that where you want me to go? Yeah. Okay. <laughs> How many? One more. And yeah, relax there. Yeah. yeah, we're doing five reps today. Okay. Yeah. Fantastic. Amazing. Yeah, quite nice. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so we went through the body weight squat. Yep. So you've got the range. We're just going to now see how it changes when we give you a bit of weight. Okay, great. Okay, so we're going to do what's called a goblet squat. So we're going to place your palms underneath the top of the kettlebell. You can hold it or you can just have hands open. And then I want you to think with your elbows, I want you to think, tuck them in and reach them forward. Okay, so the weight's still staying where it is, it's just the elbows that are going to reach. So you don't need to be out here. You stay against your chest, you're just going to reach the elbows. Now this should feel very similar to when we were on the floor in our kind of... Um, all four position and pushing away from me. Okay. okay. And then we're gonna do from there. It's just got perfect. Okay. I want five reps again then, please. Just... And relax there. How did that feel? Fine. Quite easy? Yeah, it's just my knees are in my way. <laughs> my arms. <laughs> yeah. Okay, so we're gonna do that again in a minute. So at the moment, as we go down. This weight almost comes in front of you, kind of like this. So I want to try and keep that body a little more upright. Okay. So it doesn't feel that like you're trying to lean into it. Okay. Down we go. Like yeah. that? Yeah, that's perfect. For this last one, we're going to hold at the bottom. I want you to lift up ever so slightly and hold. A little bit more and hold. I oh, oh, <laughs> was so close. Okay. <laughs> so, when you're doing squats that I programmed for you, yeah. that third position, so that third stage up, that is going to be your sticking point. That's the point where I want you to, to get to. Okay? okay. 
<laughs> you didn't like that, did I? <laughs> did, it start, did it start burning that point? Yeah, I was like, yeah. whoa, <laughs> too much, too much. Yeah, so the thing with a with goblet squat, which is great, it's going to work that like core, and you'll feel if you start to try and lean forward. So you'll be like, yeah. okay, I need to like, stand a little more upright. These ones we want to be using for the front of the legs mainly. Okay. Okay, so you want to feel a lot of quad. And now we're going to look at what's going to work the back of the legs. So. Okay. Right, guys, we're entering into our last exercise of the day. Then we'll be doing analysis in the next video. So make sure you watch out for that. Hattie's going to be doing it all behind the scenes. And then we'll be chatting about it very, very soon. Hattie, thank you so much for today. Obviously, you guys, um, thank you so much for watching. And if you stay through to the end, thank you so much. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit that notification bell so you never miss a video. As always, we're going to do our final exercise now. Then I get to go home. Hey, and eat some food. <laughs> right, so the final one is the hinge pattern. So for golfers, this is quite important because it helps you with your posture. So if you think when you're bending into a, into a golf posture, you're having to push your hips back, keep your back fairly straight, and work your glutes and hamstrings to get a bit more power. So this one's basically going to get you stronger in that position. Plus, it also feels pretty cool lifting heavy stuff. <laughs> so, <laughs> this transitions through to things like the deadlift. Got which, it, which I do all the time. Exactly, which you are going <laughs> to love. <laughs> so, we are going to start from the first stage and we're going to work our way up just to see where you're at at the moment. So, stage one with these lovely kettlebells. They do yeah. look massive. Big. Yeah. <laughs> So, what we're going to do for the first one is we're going to bring it behind our back. Now, I can help you with this if you need. We're going to stand nice and tall. Now, before you do any movement, I want you to almost feel like you're trying to break the bar away from you. So, you okay. see when I do that, that upper back gets tight. Yeah. Okay? And I want to try and hold that tension the whole way through. Okay? And then all you need to do is stick your butt into the kettlebell and come back up. Okay. Okay. And when you're ready. What am I doing? Just going to push your butt into the kettlebell. Like that? And that's the one. And back up. Yeah, let's see if we can get a little bit lower. A nice stretch. Yeah, this should feel quite nice, this one. So this one probably shouldn't feel like you're really working. It's more just... This one's fun. Yeah. <laughs> it's just like one massive stretch. <laughs> yeah, the good thing about this one is it almost teaches people to hinge while holding that back position that we want. So this is kind of step one. Make sure we can hinge, which by the looks of it. I think I can hinge. Yeah, let's do one more. <laughs> I was going to the floor ah, and relax there. <laughs> yeah, you probably could. could you? <laughs> no stopping me. No, but I think we need to rein you in a little bit, don't we? <laughs> that is actually what I need. I've got too much flexibility. Yeah. But I don't control anything. It's just but a bit what wobbly. we can do is we can build in things like eccentric, so slowly lowering down. We can build in holes, isometric holes, which will then build that stability around those positions. Yeah. So we will probably almost be limiting your range a little bit to start with while you build some strength in there. And yeah. then we can increase the range with control then. So then you'll find, although you're stretchy, you're strong in those positions. Exactly what we want. <laughs> right, stage two. Yeah. Now we're gonna see if you can hold that back position without your hands behind your back. So we're going to take the bottom of the kettlebell. Mm -hmm. We're gonna place it against your belly, quite high up. And we're gonna hold on to the handles, okay. okay? Now, in order to create the tension on this one like you did behind your back last time, we're gonna tuck your elbows in and almost feel like you're trying to pull the kettlebell into your stomach, okay? So you can see that automatically then creates tension in my upper back. And then we're gonna just hinge over from there, okay? <laughs> so, like this? Yep, yeah, that's it. Okay, so elbows tuck in, pull the kettlebell into your belly. And then you're gonna push your bum back towards that wall behind you. Like that? Yep, yeah, that's it. And back up. And again. Don't know what I'm doing. Okay, the next one, let's try and reach, really pull it into you. That's it, there we go. So you see that last one, you start to get that little bit rounding through that upper back, so really pull it into you as you go down. That's it, good. Let's go one more of those. Yes, lovely position. And relax there. How would that one feel for you? I don't really know what I was doing <laughs> very well. <laughs> So the good thing about having it on your, on your stomach, you haven't really got to think too much about creating the tension other than pull it in. Yeah. <laughs> so that's quite a good one to get your back a bit stronger and being able to hold that, that nice posture. But we will try the next stage for you, because I think you probably okay. want to enough to hold this one. So this time we're going to have that kettlebell held between our legs. So we're going to have to create that tension ourselves completely. 
Okay. okay? So, again, like when we were behind your back, we want to try and almost feel like you're breaking the bar towards you. So you're creating that tension through those. This time you can always think abs and armpits. That's my two things I often, I often okay. use in my little keys. So abs on, armpit squeezed, and then you're always trying to reach between your feet. I don't want you to go to the floor. I just want you to go just above. Okay. okay. We're gonna break that panel on the bar. Abs yeah. and armpits. Are they on? And what am I doing? <laughs> I'm so leaning forward. Squeezing your armpits and then bum to that wall behind you. Like this? Yeah, that's it. And stand back up. Good, really nice position. Okay, that one felt like I could control it. The other ones felt too, I felt too like bendy and Did you? Flimsy, yeah, you feel like, I'm like Yeah, these will probably do good going a bit heavier as long as you can keep that position. Just because some people find that are more flexible actually mm. stabilizes them. They're like, yeah. I have to tense. Like now I had to do that with the other ones. I felt like I was just like, what am I doing? <laughs> yeah. Exactly. The first two are more about the movement pattern. Yeah. Then with that one, we can start loading it up a little bit more. And that's where those ones, once you get used to that, and those kettlebells go up quite, quite a heavy, normally kind of 40 kilos. Um, so you can keep on the kettlebell until you get to that weight. And then you might want to go over to something like a bar where you can load it up a little bit more. And we can, we can move on to that once you've kind of got comfortable with that first position. Um, and then once you get comfortable with that, then your deadlifts off the floor come into play. <laughs> Okay. <laughs> and you see like the trap bar that yeah. a, lot of, a lot of athletes you see using, golfers you see using a lot. You can then start using that a lot more as well for that force. And you think all these things you've been doing, vertical force, that's what that quote for you. And then at this point, everything's going over my head because <laughs> I've done more exercise than I've done in a very long time. Um, well, you've done very well. <laughs> <laughs> so. Hattie, thank you so much for today. That's we'll be right. catching up in a couple of weeks yeah. where you'll be telling me all of the results from my session today. And then we can get you stuck into some training. That is true. <laughs> All right, guys, thank you so much for watching and we will catch up with you very, very soon. Bye.